Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my first ever holiday gift guide and it is Festive Friday. So I am going to be kind of breaking it down into groups, sharing things that I actually got for people in my life this year that I love and also a few things that I've got in years past or just things that I love that I think would make great gifts. So I'm going to keep this intro short and we will just get right into the video. But before we do that, don't forget to click the subscribe button and leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite gift is that you have ever received. Okay, so I have my little notebook here, so we're gonna stay on track. I'm going to start off with things that I already have and I think that would make amazing gifts. So the first gift that I want to mention today is a pair of blue light glasses. That might sound a little bit silly, but if you think about it, we're constantly on our phone, or if you know someone who's working from home and is constantly on the computer, this is an amazing gift for them. My absolute favorite blue light glasses are from Diff Eyewear. You may have heard of them before, and these glasses are absolutely amazing. So I have two pairs and I also bought my boyfriend a pair. These ones are pink. I will try to find the style, but if not, I will leave their website below. I love this brand because not only are they amazing quality, but they really give back to people in need with every single purchase of glasses. So I will leave all that information below, but they also have really good sales, like majority of the time. I signed up for their text and I get a text every single day with a new sale. I actually, for my boyfriend's birthday, I got buy one, get one free blue light glasses. So that is when I got these and I'm obsessed with them. I've tried the ones from Amazon before and it might just be that my eyes are super sensitive, but they really hurt my eyes and these ones do not do that. So they're really cute and they come with a really nice case. I also have gold round ones and I like those a lot as well, but I've been wearing these ones a ton and I think they would make an amazing gift. And they also have something for everybody. So no matter what your style, they have a lot of simple ones. They have a couple more funky ones. And it's nice to know, especially around this time of year, that you're giving back as well as making someone happy in your life. So blue light glasses, always a good one. So the next thing on my list is this cute little steamer. This is from Vanity Planet. And I actually got this for Christmas last year or maybe the year before that. I can't remember, but this is super cute. This is the little hole that the steam comes out of and it, you can move it. Um, it comes with these little cones and they set right in here and you can put essential oils in here. And I just love this. It really like opens up your pores and makes you just feel relaxed and it's good for your skin. So I like to do this sometimes after my moisturizer or before to just help it sink in or honestly when I'm sick if my sinuses are a little clogged up, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to use it for, but I will sit in front of the steamer just to open up those airways. I don't know about you, but my mom always made me steam like over a bowl when I was growing up and I always hated it, but it does help. So this has been really good for that as well. And I don't think it's too expensive. I also just wanted to mention that, yes, it's amazing to give people gifts during the holidays, but if you want to stick to a certain budget, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm also thinking of doing like a DIY gift video for like affordable DIY gifts that are actually something that people would want. So if you're interested in that, then give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can make that for you because I was going to include those things in this video, but I don't want it to be like a million years long. So. If you're interested in that, that, definitely let me know and I will be doing that as well. But this is something that I got for Christmas and I still use it all the time and I love it. So for the skincare lover in your life, this is perfect. 
Another really fun gift that I am absolutely obsessed with is my diffuser. Um, this one is actually from Young Living, but you can of course find them everywhere nowadays. They have them on Amazon. They have them at a lot of, li a lot of little shops. So this is a really perfect gift. This is perfect for a bigger size room and you just put the oils in here. Mine needs to be cleaned. <laughs> And then this goes on top and it lights up. It has like a flicker setting that's really pretty. Um, it looks like a candle and I love putting like lavender in here, Christmas scents, fall scents. So I would definitely recommend something like a diffuser and a couple of oils for that person in your life who loves that cozy, homey feel, especially during the holidays, but I'm obsessed with this and I use it every single day, so. The next thing that we're gonna talk about are games and entertainment kind of gifts. I absolutely love Monopoly Deal. My boyfriend and I had gotten into this phase of playing actual Monopoly and it was just taking us far too long. So instead of doing that, we I actually found Monopoly Deal and was really intrigued and it is so fun. So it says that you can play in 15 minutes and I will say that is true. We play this all the time and it's just nice to get you kind of like off your phone and still have something really fun to do that's not gonna take you two hours or you're gonna have to like leave it and come back to it later. So this is really fun and I think it's like five bucks on Amazon. So actually you can find this at Target as well. Another classic is Uno. It's a good stocking stuffer as well. These are super cheap. So I also saw that they have like a minimalist version of Uno and it's like black with like minimal writing on it. And those are really nice as well. This wouldn't be a proper gift guide on my channel without mentioning friends. So if you remember last year, there were rumors about Friends going off Netflix and that really scared me because Friends is like my comfort show along with Gilmore Girls but Friends like I need to have it just have access to it so if you can relate then I totally feel you and you're my people but this is the Friends box set and this is a whopping $60 on Amazon you can find it other places too I'm sure but I got this for Christmas last year and I am just happy to have it. It brings me peace of mind. If you have a friends lover in your life, then definitely check this out. I think they would be really happy to have this. Next up is the adventure challenge, which I'm really happy to talk about because it is a newer business and I absolutely love this book. They are a company that makes a few of these books. There is a family version, couples version, and a friends version. So what it is, is you basically have little scratch offs on every single page and it gives you either date ideas or just activity ideas. It has all these different themes and things like that. This one is all food related. I really like in the back how they have $10 dates, so if you're looking for something affordable, that's really cool. I know that we are always looking for really affordable date night options. They all give you the price at the top, how long it will take, what time of day you should do it, and what will be involved. I know if you have kids, it lets you know like you're going to need a babysitter for this or you know, you can do this at home. They have a lot of home dates in here, which is good too, because I know right now some people might not feel as comfortable going different places, but I also love that it has the little spot for a photo because it kind of turns into like a little scrapbook or just a really fun thing for you to look back on. Um, another thing that is kind of related to this is chat books. So I don't have one up here to show you, but we just recently got one for, not recently, it feels like yesterday, but um, it was in the summer. We got one for my dad for Father's Day. I know a lot of people's dads are hard to shop for, I'm sure, but he loved it and it's just a really nice thing that you can have to look back on for years and years and you can also actually hook it up to your social media, Facebook, anything like that, and 
be able to get monthly books so there's tons of options but I just wanted to mention that here because they're pretty affordable and the printing is really nice you can totally customize the layout so I just loved that okay so I wanted to give you a little example of one of the DIY gifts I was thinking of so I have this little roller bottle this is from my friend Mira's shop she does really cool like uh, pressed flower designs on different things she does it on all types of glass I have really cute wine glasses from her I will try to insert that here as well but they are really beautiful those would make a really good gift as well she's the best you have to go check out her Instagram because the things that she has on there I seriously want everything so what's in here is actually a perfume that I made for myself I have a bunch of essential oil in here. I added vanilla, black pepper, cinnamon bark, and clove essential oil. I'm pretty sure that's all I added. Maybe a little bit of lavender, can't remember. But I love little unique gifts like this and imagine somebody opening this up and being like, wow, you made that for me and you had me in mind. So I just think this is really sweet and there's a ton more ways to do a similar thing that is just really personal and handmade but not super expensive or hard so if you're interested again in that kind of video then let me know because I love giving unique gifts like this so now family click out please um, you know who you are so just please leave I love you thank you for watching mom I'm talking to you because I know you like to know gifts in advance but <laughs> let's get into the family and friends part of this video um, these are actual gifts that I bought people so please don't watch this if you are one of those people I'm going to start off with Matthew my boyfriend he is the sweetest and he's always doing things for me left and right um, whether I ask him to or not so I am really grateful for him in my life and we've just been through a lot together so I always like to get him something that I know he will like even if to other people it doesn't seem like the most like romantic gift um, but I know that he will love this and so this is a gift for the coffee lover um, or that friend or person in your life who goes to Dunkin or Starbucks every single day and they just can't help themselves. This is called the AeroPress. It comes with the little tools and this is the actual coffee maker. So it's like a press and I don't really know how it works to be honest, but it had really good reviews and it was pretty affordable it was like 25 dollars or something like that so usually it comes with paper filters but i thought instead of having to constantly repurchase the filters i bought this little pack of three stainless steel mesh filters that are reusable a lot of people in the reviews had said that the taste of the espresso is actually better with the metal filters as opposed to the paper, so that's an added bonus. To go with that, I got this espresso. And if you're watching this, when it's up, it's right around Black Friday. In fact, it might actually be Black Friday. And this was 35% off at Target, so I got like $2.50 off of this, so it was only 4 bucks. You know, your girl loves a good deal, so I was pretty excited about that. But I thought, obviously, you have to give some espresso with that. I also thought that it would be cute to make a couple of, like, flavored syrups, because since he loves the flavored drinks at Dunkin', I thought that it would be cute to, like, make that so he can make it at home for himself or I can make it for him. Um, so I got these little pumps and these go on top of the smaller mouth mason jars. So I thought that was perfect. Um, it even comes with some cute little labels and I just think this is a really sweet idea. Um, these are the lids and I'm thinking of making either a mocha syrup, vanilla, 
uh, caramel, something like that. I'm gonna make two of them. Wish me luck, I'm gonna find some recipes, but if you have any good ones for those, then definitely let me know. I also was thinking of getting him like a little tumbler for ice drinks, but he has a really well insulated cup that he already loves. So I figured instead of like switching it up on him, I got him these glass straws to go with that tumbler that he already has and loves and uses all the time so that if he wants like an ice drink, he can put this in and it will be easy to drink it. And I also got him one essential oil that I think will be really good for him. Um, it's called Shutra and it's really good for like energy and I've heard a lot of great stories about that. So that is also part of his gift, but it hasn't come yet. And finally, I always like to get him something cozy because I just like to. Um, and I think that he enjoys it as well. So I got him this cute little green, um, like sagey green Hanes sweatshirt from Amazon. And it just looked really soft and comfy. I honestly want from one for myself. If you're interested, I can definitely link things for you. But I just thought this would be really cute and cozy and I got this in a size large. So next up, I'm going to talk about what I got my mom. First of all, her birthday is December 14th, so right before Christmas. I actually got inspired at the dollar store because I originally went in there for these number balloons. So for her birthday, I found, I found all these little yarn spools at the dollar store. I'm whispering a little because she's right downstairs. I don't know if she can hear me or not, but I found a ton of these yarn spools, <laughs> but I thought it would be really fun to do a loom project. So I'm going to make her a nice little like wall hanging thing. And I think that will be really cute and special and homemade. So this was $12 on Amazon. Um, the yarn was $1 each and then since I'm not buying her the gift, I figured I could, you know, spend the money on these supplies. So after I found those, I also wanted to add in some texture. So I found this thicker uh, yarn at Michael's as well as this one and it's like kind of a little bit of a different texture. And then these are the other colors that I got from the dollar store. I also got her this cute sweatshirt from Target. This was 20 bucks and it is from the brand New Day. I also got myself one in like a lilac color and it fits really nicely and is super cozy. I also got her these cute little paper bag waist pants and these are from stars above and these were also twenty dollars and they're just like a wide leg cozy pant my mom and i both love cozies so i obviously have to get her those every single year um so for my parents i got them something really special and i'm really excited about it it is a personalized recipe box and they absolutely love cooking and there's a lot of recipes that they just kind of make up and they're always talking about a place to put it. So I thought this would be the perfect gift and it's personalized. I can leave the shop name on the screen here. She's amazing. She checked with me on the design and finalized it and shipped it out within a couple days. So she's amazing. It's from an Etsy shop and I will leave it here, but a great gift for anybody who absolutely loves cooking and personalized items. In the same realm, there is also an Instagram shop called Something You Would Love, and wood as in W-O-O-D, and she makes all wooden personalized items, and they're all really gift worthy. So check out her Instagram. I know I'm mentioning a bunch of shops, but I think that's really helpful in gift guides to not only show things that you bought for people and things that you like, but also recommend places to go that are different than just like Amazon, Target, <laughs> the typical places we go. So I just like to mention little shops here and there, but if you ever want shop recommendations, I have a lot for you. Um, speaking of shops, I just have to mention this in here. I will show you what I got from her 
when it comes but sunny and sage on instagram check her out you won't be disappointed if you like vintage items i am like definitely the most like gung-ho about christmas in my house so i like to do a little like grab bag situation like i like to do the stockings um at least for my parents and stuff so what i did this year is i got um like some random stuff so like for my mom she's really into kind of like watercolor painting journaling and um so this is something random but it's washi tape and i think it's a cute little stocking stuffer for your crafty um person in your life this is very much a 2020 item but i got a four pack of these little um like touch tools you can open a door with this do like the keypad um, and things like that and this just attaches to your key ring and it has four in here and super affordable I think it was under ten dollars. So I'm gonna give this to every single person Got my dad a Duncan gift card because he loves Duncan he goes every day <laughs> For my grandma. I'm honestly not sure what to get her. I will probably get her some like cozies and we also have um, that era steamer that I showed you before my mom and I were talking we think that would be a really cute gift so what I got for my brother he is in college he is turning 20 like how crazy is that uh, he is really into art I'm actually in his room right now it has the best like audio quality but he has like a ton of stuff on his desk that are all art supplies paintbrushes markers pens things like that so I found these really cool little organizers on Amazon and they have it comes in a set of three and the little sections are diagonal so they go downward so it's really easy to like see what you have and just find your art supplies and just have it look a little bit more organized and who doesn't love a nice organized space I know what I know I do so that is kind of a random gift for him. Another really good dollar store find, like I'm really excited about this, are these canvases. I don't know if you could tell, but it's like legit canvas material. They're like canvas panels, they call them. And these are a dollar each. Are you kidding me? This one is 11 by 14. And this one is an eight by eight. They also have smaller ones. I think this might've been the biggest one that my store had, but who knows, they might have bigger ones than that. But like I said, my brother's really into art and he's been experimenting with acrylic paint. He's been at college for the past few months and hasn't been able to come home. So I know he's gonna be excited to get back to like painting and stuff. And then lastly, I also got him a really cozy sweatshirt and He's pretty picky with colors, so I just got him gray, but I think it will look really good on him and it's really cozy. So that is my little gift to him. Hopefully he likes it. Hopefully everyone that I got these things for likes it. I just have one more thing to show you and then I will let you go. This is probably going to be the longest video ever, which is why I didn't want to include the DIY gifts in here. But hold on, let me show you what else I have. So this is the last thing. Hopefully my boyfriend's family is not watching this because it's for them. I'm just doing a family gift this year. So I picked this up at Home Goods, and what it is is it's called the Mini Bar and it's really really cute. It is by the brand Punch and it says 100 essential cocktail recipes and it has all these little books in it and each of them have the name of the type of alcohol and then inside it has different drink recipes with the alcohol. So I thought this was really fun. We like to try different like wines and stuff together. So I just thought this would be cute. And I think with this, I'm either going to give like a bottle of wine that we like or maybe one of these types of alcohol because then we could try to make one of the recipes. Maybe that would be fun. This is the gin book. And I wonder if it'd be cute to give them like a couple of the ingredients for one of the drinks and then maybe we could try that. But yeah, I just thought that was a really cute gift for anyone who loves cocktails and it's just a fun time of year for that kind of thing. So that is the last gift that I have for you. So that is all for today's gift guide. I hope that you really enjoyed it and that it gave you a couple of good ideas. I would love to hear from you as well, so feel free to leave any of your ideas below. Let me know, like I said, if you wanna see like a little 
DIY gift guide for little cute items like this. I will also try to have all of the shops that I mentioned linked below so that you can go check them out. But that's it for this video and I will see you next Friday with another festive Friday video. Bye guys.